Hi all and welcome to my video on Outposts for Starfield. I'll be covering what we already know from the gameplay video and also going to give you my thoughts on what the other things in the Outpost could comprise of. I'm so excited for this part of the game. I love building settlements in Fallout and it was one of my favorite things to do. Anyway, let's get into it. Starfield, for those that do not know, is an up and coming game from the Bethesda Game Studios, the team behind the popular Fallout series. We don't know everything about Starfield yet. We do know that there will be a feature of outpost building mechanics, like those seen in Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. In Fallout, players are able to construct and manage settlements throughout the game world. These settlements could be built up using resources gathered from the environment and salvaging items from destroyed buildings, etc. Players could place structures like buildings, walls, turrets and other defensive measures, as well as assigning NPCs to do various tasks like farming and scavenging and defense. Settlements were a significant part of Fallout 4 and 76, allowing players to create a unique and personalized base of operations throughout the game world. It's likely the settlement building mechanics in Starfield are going to be an expansion of these mechanics, allowing players to construct even more elaborate bases and outposts in the game's science fiction universe. Who knows? However, while Starfield may share similarities to Fallout 4's settlement building mechanics, it's likely that it will be a very different experience overall. Starfield is set in an extremely new universe, and we can expect the game to feature a vastly different set of storytelling and gameplay mechanics. So anyway, let's take a look at what we already know about the gameplay video that Bethesda has released. So in order to build an outpost, we're going to need resources as seen here. We can gather them through mining. We are unsure if we can scrap like in Fallout at this stage, but it could be an option also. We also know that things for making items like iron and sealant, just to name a few, could be needed to build these structures and items in your bases. You can see here these items displayed are for making a weapon mod. When setting up an outpost, resources are going to be critical. In this scene, you can see the surveying area. There is a 9 out of 9 resources listed in the survey, which tells us that there are 9 essential resources, uh, possibly to the game, or at least this place. And placing your base on a spot like this one could be super important, as you may have the ability to gather all 9 resources in this area through other mechanics. In this scene, you'll see that there is no fauna or flora, which tells us that some planets are going to have a mix of different resources, meaning you could be planting crops outside if the conditions are right. On this planet, I would say that you're going to need a hydroponics building to grow crops and maybe plants for medicines. The outpost beacon is the first thing you'll place once you have picked your spot out. This will give you a build radius to work within. In this shot, once the beacon has been placed, you can see some critical information at the bottom of the screen. The build limit is over to the left of the screen, meaning that you are going to have a limit on the amount of things that you can build in your base, just like in Fallout. On the right side, we see cargo, crew, power and production, which are going to be the main things you're going to need to focus on while building. We can see there are a number of different structures that we can use to make up main areas of the outpost. These things are an airlock, which I'm guessing is your front door, a four wall hab or habitat, which I'm guessing are for placing things like workbenches and storage maybe, a hydroponic structure for growing things. Now you can see that there are also two options for some of these structures. Uh, military structures, I would say for building weapons, armor and things of a military nature. We also have small hex habs, which I'd say attach to joining areas just like the four wall hab. There is also a hallway industrial structure, which could be for building resource gathering structures. Uh, there is also a watchtower as well. Some of these buildings have two or three options, giving us possibly different looks or uses. Uh, the great thing is that we can toggle the view before placing them as well. We can see in the top right of the gameplay video the building costs for each structure. 
Aluminium and iron are needed for all these structures by the looks of it, and only small amounts of these items are needed at this stage. Although it could change once the game is released, or they could make resources harder to find, I'm not sure. Resource generation is also mentioned in the gameplay. How will this work? I believe you can go back to the scene where we were surveying the outpost area, and it said there were 9 out of 9 resources in the given area. We can see from this shot what looks to be a well pump of some type of machinery and that could be a resource gathering structure. There also looks to be a generator here that's attached to some machinery and other structures that look like they're gathering some type of resource as well. We know we have aluminum or aluminium as I say it here in Australia and we have nickel and iron. Uh, let me know what you think the other resources could be in the comments below. Hey guys, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up and maybe even consider subscribing. I'm going to be releasing more content about Starfield in the future, so it would be good to get that notification when I do. In this scene you can see what could be an outpost from above, which looks to have two separate groups of buildings and possibly a landing area from your ship. Uh, there is a lot of talk that this is a possibly a cutscene, but cutscenes sometimes do seem to represent the building area or outpost that you have in other games so I'm hoping that's the, the same with this game as well. There are also a lot of other things that can be placed on the ground outside the outpost main buildings as you can see in the shot. Uh, I'm not sure what these could be, I would guess that they're going to be a mix of decorative items and as already mentioned structures for mining and gathering different types of resources that will be needed in game. As for the unknown outpost options, maybe we will get the chance to take over abandoned outposts like in Fallout. Um, do you think this is going to be an option in game? Please let me know in the comments below. Something I've mentioned in my last video was the home skill. Um, the word home was mentioned two times in these skills and, and does it tie into the outposts in any way? I don't know. It could be that we have a main base of operations call it a home, and then as we explore the universe we can place outposts on these worlds. We will also don't know what the outpost limits will be, so we might need to be careful about where we put our outposts um, as the game unfolds. We're not going to get unlimited outposts, so there will be a limit, so this could be super important as well. Although, what are your thoughts on this one? If you're interested in the skills of Starfield that were hidden in the uh, gameplay video, just check out my last video where I try and solve what the hidden skills are. I will provide a link to that at the end of this video for you to click on and watch. Hey guys, I am super excited to see what Bethesda has in store for us with Starfield and I cannot wait to get my hands on the game and start building my own outposts in this universe. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the stars.